afternoon, and thank you for joining me in another swashbuckling episode of Groovy Van Picker. Well, um, this weekend, I actually checked out a few places. I got some footage of some of it, but not all of it. And over the Google troughs, I actually uh, made a pretty okay, got a couple things that I think it can sell pretty good money. Um, I got some footage of a couple other places, but I screw them up. And the swap meet... There's nothing there because we had a snowstorm, so ain't nobody buying or selling at the swap meet when it's snowing. So, I didn't bother going when it's snowing. I'm a poet, you didn't even know it. So, anyway, come join me. Try these guys. <sighs> they still have this thing. Surprise, surprise. They're kind of groovy. Is there like a law against selling telescopes with eyepieces? Here's something I can probably use for my van. The uh, solar panel rack, but I'm trying ah! 40 bucks? Hmm. Sure, now, okay, so that's the price they have, that's the asking price on Etsy, but if you look at the actual sold prices, you'll notice they're a lot different. There's a nifty toolbox for 30 bucks, but I only have one. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that jumps out at me, right? Bicycle and baseball helmets. Something. I never had really good luck with waffle irons. Yeah, there's no comps on that. I can get this though. Something. Okay, let's see what Sabres has today. I think they dropped their crack pipe. Yeah, I'm not seeing nothing here. Bags of shit. Once in a while you find something decent, but Continental Airlines. Yeah. Okay. Any more screw ups here? Yeah, look at that one. Okay, a Goodwill Boutique. And the good old troughs. Okay, yesterday I had good luck here. That's what we got today. It's supposed to be they might like, bring out their glass way early in the morning. We have to start getting here early in the morning. That way I can get on the ground floor. Well, there's a helmet that they couldn't unload at the Goodwill Boutique. Because they wanted 25 bucks for it. Here's the Goodwill Boutique. Well, oh, I'm glad that they're realizing the helmets are not made out of gold. Nothing interesting. Okay, well, that's my adventures. Um, they're one of the first things that I found. This is an old, uh, Boraxo um, soap dispenser and I paid like two fifty for it, nothing heavy. But the comps on those are pretty decent. Um
Like here's one that I found for thirty-five dollars, and so yeah, they they do sell. Um, so for three bucks, two fifty, you know, I can't really complain too much. And the other thing that I found, which I'm keeping for myself, this is a uh, target, or when you shoot at it. It kind of heals itself somehow. So it doesn't weigh that much. It weighs a couple pounds. I paid like two fifty for it. So this here, I'm keeping for myself to uh, take to the range and try it out because, well, it's fun. Um, and um, one of the things that I found, the cool Viewmaster. Now, what's funny about this is it's actually made in the USA. Then I found this sign. It is a cheap one, but it's a groovy little swap meet item. And then I found this Roshansky Hutsky. How she look? I look like Soviet Russian guard, no? I guess not. Okay. Stick to this. But then I found a few other little knickknacks and tchotchkes, nothing heavy. Then I found the PA study these homes. This is a Tivoli. Uh, what the hell model is it? Yeah. Tivoli Audio Satellite Radio. I plug it in and it works. Now, I'm going to show you the comps on these things, okay? I've had very good luck with them. I sold a few of them. Alright. So, Here's some of the comps. It'll be between like 48 bucks to 80 bucks. Not bad. But wait, there's more. Later on, I found a little plastic baggie with the remote. Now, the remote. It's also got some crazy uh, comps on it. Okay, let me see what am I... Look at that. I mean, 35 to $50 for a remote. So that wasn't too bad of a find. And then... I found a pair of these, I think they're called Jack's Pacific uh, Spy Net Goggles. I found nothing of them, but I've actually found that kind of stuff before and did pretty well with it. And the comps on that are pretty decent. I mean, like 25 bucks. It doesn't weigh anything, so out of the good old troughs, it didn't really cost much. So, that was a good find. And like I said, I haven't been doing a lot of the troughs. I've been doing a lot more of uh, stuff at the house and, and selling. But I still go to the, the, the thrift stores to see what they have. One of the things that I found today, this stuff here I found yesterday. Little tiny silver ring. Little tiny. Pay like three bucks for it. Probably get a few bucks for it at the swap meet. Um, because it's got a little bit of turquoise in it. And people like that kind of stuff around here. So yeah, this weekend wasn't too shabby. 
they got a few things going out too for uh, eBay. Um, that that Gefeller case makers uh, case that's up to almost eighty dollars. This, the Snap-on Spoon Set is 32 bucks, not too shabby. That Cuckoo Clock that I found, got another bid on it. It's up to 47 And another clock, that's still at 31 But then I sold... And they paid for it. This, uh... I, I picked that up for a few bucks at the Google Tross. It's actually like an old cast iron. It's a reproduction, but it's still pretty decent. Um, I think I paid man, not even 10 bucks for it, so... I got 35 out of that. That's not too shabby. It's going in my vacation fund. Um... Plus, uh, I also sold over the weekend... Oh yeah, another thing I want to show you. That uh, this thing here that I got with that that when I bought off that guy at the little yard sale, twenty eight dollars I got for it. Not too shabby. Which means that I'm only into that pile of stuff for 12 bucks. <laughs> and this thing here, that little mandolin that I bought with that pile of guitars, $80 uh, free shipping. It only cost me about 15 bucks to ship it. I'm getting expensive. I think it weigh nothing. So basically, and I got $65 for it. Which means that all seven of those other guitars that I bought, I'm only into them 15 bucks. <laughs> so even if I sell all those guitars for five bucks a piece, that's profit, but you know I'm going to sell them for more because, well, it's the American way, so when you say that. So yeah, that's about what I did this weekend. Uh, nothing heavy. So, like I said, probably tomorrow I'll put some more stuff up and uh, see how that goes and adjust some of my auctions and whatnot. So anyway, that is it for today's episode. So not a whole lot. So even if you don't like it, there's not a whole lot not to like. So, late.